Hello, here I am in, I was going to say Bavaria. But, but there's just too many signs that says it's not Bavaria. It's Helen, Georgia. And they, uh, it, the city has a German theme. All the buildings are in a Bavarian style. And they started doing this in about 1969 or 70. And I've always heard about it, so here I am. And it's it is a small town, but it's a tourist town. There, it is the third most visited place in Georgia, which is kind of hard to believe because it's just a typical theme. Theme park? No, nah, it's not theme park, but it's a. It has a theme, it has a Bavarian theme and all the buildings, I guess it's to code. You can't, you can't build anything unless it's Bavarian style. And uh, it's a hot July day, but the main thing is they got a river, the Chattahoochee River goes through it and everybody goes tubing down at this time of year. And I imagine it's a really nice place at Christmas. I stopped for lunch at I think it was a Bavarian <laughs> restaurant. And I had a, a bratwurst and sauerkraut and onions and a draft, German draft beer. And I'm full of some German potato salad. And that's, that was my big expense here, except for the parking was six bucks. Not bad. It's a tourist town. Um, and it's small. It's, I mean, it's not real small, but it's, there's only like 500 people that live here. Um, that are residents here. So it's a small town, but it's got a lot of commercial touristy activity. And, uh, As you can see, I'm just sitting here taking a break, I'm trying to sweat that beer off I had for lunch. But they got all kinds of shops. It's a, there's my buddy I met at, uh, he's from Tampa too. Met at the restaurant. But here you see, it's a pretty cool little place. I'm going to head back to a place called Duluth. Not Duluth, Minnesota, but Duluth, Georgia. There's Hansel and Gretel's Candy Kitchen. And I just, as much as I'd like to, I just don't need any candy. I guess it would be a good play to, to stay and drink some beer. But that's, those days are behind me, pretty much.
but it's a really walkable town. Oops, sorry. This morning I got up at, well, I didn't even get up. I was up all night because I had to leave the house at three to get to the airport by four. I got a 5.55 flight. And I was up, had my rental car and out of there by about 8.30, out of Atlanta airport. And I drove up here because I'm just trying to kill some time because I am dead, dead tired. Those early fall flights kill me. I'm gonna be up in this area tomorrow. in Gwinnett County. I'll be up in this area tomorrow. I don't know, that looks Dutch to me. But they, it's, it's a theme. It's, it's uh, anyway, people set up shop here and it's a theme town. It was a great idea. And it's, uh, that's a money bringer in her for sure. Well, anyway. So if public restroom all kinds of little murals and architecture it's all kinds of stuff here's a nice little store Georgia artists and crafts This is the Helen Arts and Heritage Center gift shop. And it looks like they have some kind of mountain coaster, which I'm not walking up there. <laughs> but the cool thing is they have the Chattahoochee River and you just see hundreds of people tubing right through Helen. I don't know where they start and where they end up, but they come right through hell. It's a real neat little river. And there's the Helen Cops. And I'm about done. I'm gonna walk off this beer a few minutes more and get in my car and head back to Duluth, check in my motel and catch up on some sleep and go back at it tomorrow. Well, it's been nice talking to you. And see you tomorrow.